What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. We actually have some good news here, uh, potentially good news. This season, we're two weeks away from training camp opening up. I, it's hard to believe. Uh, we're 56 days away from the season opener. Um, I just can't wait. Oh, my God, I can't wait till we get there. So come midnight, it'll be 55 days. And we're two weeks away from training camp opening up in Oxnard. We'll actually be there. Um, is it three weeks from Thursday? It's so four weeks. I got to look at the count. I, I'm confused. Today is the 10th, so I guess it's four weeks. Um, we'll be there on the 9th of August uh, for the scrimmage um, against the Rams. We'll actually be there the whole week and stuff, so we've got our plane tickets ready to go. Be that as it may, um, this season, because the Joneses don't believe in anybody but their own guys, if they did not draft him or sign him as a free agent, um, undrafted free agent or a USFL or a UFL player, then they don't believe in them. And if we are going to have a successful season, we literally have to thread the needle. And we're going to depend on some guys who were injured to play well and to come back healthy and, you know, in better shape than um, what we've had in recent history. One of those will be Overshone because last year, you know, Overshone showed some prime promise in the off season and in preseason and then he ends up tearing his acl he's had plenty of time hopefully to get back where he'll be an impact player another one will be mozzie smith mozzie whose rookie year left you wanting more um having had shoulder surgery and of course weight gain loss loss gain you know we don't even know where he's at weight wise right now we need him to come around and become a baller as well. And more importantly, especially since the Cowboys did not bring back Stefan Diggs, although I still think that there might be a chance to because, you know, this could be one of those things where the Cowboys are letting him wait and wait and wait and wait. And, you know, maybe they get a better deal and get him, you know, for next to nothing because they waited and he didn't have a better offer on the table. But Trayvon Diggs... We heard that Trayvon Diggs um, probably wouldn't be ready to start training camp and that week one could be in doubt. And this is where we have to worry. Is this going to be a case like um, Michael Gallup, who seemingly still has not recovered from his ACL to get back to where he was confidence-wise and ability-wise? Um, will this be a lost season for him? Um, and this is where one of the, the areas that, I, of course, have been worried about, but, you know, as a Cowboy fan, you worry about everything. You just don't get any help. Well, lo and behold, here's some good news. This is a working out um, video. There was some workouts of uh, him working out on the beach, and this is another one that's dropped. So let's take a look at this. We go zero to 100. Oh, hey. You see the black sleeve on this one. You turn that music up, make sure I'm not copyrighted. So he is cutting, he is moving. We've seen him on the, the beach running around in the sand and things. So um, no brace, we just see that sleeve on him. He's definitely putting in the work. All right, so that's what we got with Diggs right now. Hopefully, he will be ready by the season opener and that we won't have any lagging effect. I think part of the problem we had with Michael Gallup was, and this is where I think actually getting Stefan Gilmore would make sense because it gives you a little bit of breathing room and also makes you a better roster, is I think with Michael Gallup, because... We ended up starting the season with CeeDee Lamb, who was going into a second season. And we literally had wide receivers, Dennis Houston, and uh, I can't remember who else started the first week. 
receivers that had never caught an NFL touchdown pass starting week one, that there was a lot of pressure put on Michael Gallup to hurry up and get back. And I don't think that he was ready to get back. And that time of him being out, out there, it just, it messed up his confidence. He never really healed. Cause the thing is, is once you start playing, you know, right now, this is the best the guys are going to be in shape wise. Once you start hitting and going through those car crashes and, you know, play after play after play, you start getting worse. And this is the problem that we have with, you know, we look at guys that are not as effective when it comes to playoffs. If you're Zeke Elliott and you got 300 carries, by the time you've had 300 carries, you're not the same as you were when you had your first one. The same thing with Micah Parsons. When he's going against offensive tackles that are 320, 330 every play, you're not as strong and as fast as you were the first couple of weeks as you are at the end of the year, taking that pounding. And, you know, once Diggs gets out on that field and really starts working, that's where the healing basically stops. And now it's trying to hopefully maintain what you've gotten back. So we need to make sure he is as strong as possible, that he is in, you know, uh, really healed. Because getting an 80% digs to start that gets down to 60% isn't going to help us. And that's where I honestly and truly look at this and say, get C.D. Lamb's deal done. Bring in Stefan Gilmore. You know what? Just bite the bullet. And it just drives me crazy because if your whole thing is, is this is the last rodeo, we're going to blow it up, which some people seem to think that's where Dan uh, Salio basically thinks that the Cowboys are going to blow it up. He's not the only one that does. If you're going to blow it up, at least try to put the best team out there possible. If you end up having to, you know, eat $15, 20000000 million worth of contracts to blow it up, if you weren't going to re-sign CeeDee Lamb and uh, Dak Prescott, then what's the difference of a couple, of, you know, a few more million to really try and see if you can do something? So hopefully, you know, once we get to training camp, the Cowboys will start making some moves and things and try and make us feel a little bit better, but at least... I'm happy to see what I'm seeing here with a quick twitch. You know, you're seeing that ankle moving and things and that knee. And that's the thing when you got an ACL, although I don't have an ACL on my left knee, is getting that comfort level and that trust more than anything else. Because you're going to have times where you feel a little hiccup in it. And then all of a sudden, oh, shit. And uh, also, too, what happens is, is, you haven't gotten that trust in it where you're still worried about it. And so you have to be able to be healed enough that you're ready to just let that thing fly. So hopefully he'll be there at that point, ready to go week one. All right, good people. I appreciate you as always.